<laughs> Lakers in four, baby. Let's freaking go. Westbrook's finna get a ring. He's playing with the king. He's playing with AD. He's getting a ring. <laughs> oh, who's our competition next year? Nets, Bucks, kind of the Bucks. I wish my page would stop buffering. I want to enjoy this news about Westbrook possibly playing for the Lakers, but I'm pretty sure it's certain. Woo. All right, so I was reading the comments. <laughs> I'm just enjoying this. I, I was reading the comments to the videos that was... Oh, to the the Instagram post that was up, man, and it was there was some hate, there was some love, and I enjoyed the love. And I saw the hate. I understand the hate, but at the same time, I'm biased because I'm happy for Russell Westbrook because we have a, another great chance uh, winning a championship and getting a ring on our fingers, man. But a lot of this stuff was um, he's a dominant player with the ball, and he's going to take away from the offense. And he's, uh, it was, it was a lot of stuff. And then someone made a great point that I didn't think of. Well, Westbrook's going to be doing all the work in the regular season. So that when the, re- when the offseason comes along, LeBron and AD are ready. And Westbrook has proven to y'all time and time again that not only is he underrated, but also that he can lead any team to the playoffs. At least, yeah, he, nah, I ain't even going to try to sugarcoat it. He can lead any team to the playoffs. Just point blank, period. He led the OKC Thunder to the playoffs. And people can say he had Paul George. But okay, the season before that, he had Victor Oladipo. And this season, he led the Wizards to the playoffs. And yes, he had Bradley Beal. But Bradley Beal wasn't winning with with the Wizards before or winning at all before Westbrook or without John Wall. So at the same time, Westbrook led that team to the playoffs in my mind, and it should be in y'all minds too that he led them to the champ to the playoffs. I, I don't know if I said the championship last time, but I meant the playoffs. So as far as what he's going to do with the Lakers, I'm not saying he's going to lead them to the playoffs and he's going to take LeBron's role. But LeBron does need to play off the ball. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't need to play off the ball, but he needs. He needs someone that can play, that he can trust to make some of the decisions on the court. And not have to be not control the ball all the time. And when we look at how they won the when they won the NBA Finals, they had Arjon Rondo, who's a ball dominant point guard. So it's not like LeBron has never won a championship without with less do, ball dominant players. That yes, Rajon Rondo's name is smaller, so of course LeBron's going to get more of the touches. But at the same time, that's Rajon freaking Rondo, and he's also known for being a big contributor. And the Lakers winning the finals. But at point blank period, I'm excited. I can't wait for Westbrook to be on the Lakers. <laughs> we going to get that ring, baby. Hey, Lakers Info. Leave a like and subscribe, Lakers Info. If you enjoy content like this, shoot. leave a, Please just subscribe and leave a like so I know that. Because I'm probably going to watch the draft and react to that too. And or to the picks that the Thunder make, or if there's a big trade, I'm gonna react to that, uh, and it's gonna be titled OKC fan reacts to da 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 da. But man, I'm excited for Westbrook. How I how how can you not be? How can you not be excited 